नाइन्टीन्थ जून टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी वन मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बापदारा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू आर ग्रेटली फॉर्चुनेट बिकॉज गॉड इज गिविंग यू एन एजुकेशन दैट हैज नॉट बीन स्टडीड बाय इवन द ऋषीज और मोनीज क्वेश्चन विच डेस्टिनी इन द ड्रामा दो यू चिल्ड्रन नो बट पीपल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डो नॉट नो आंसर यू नो दैट द फ्लेम्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन आर गोइंग टू इमर्ज फ्रॉम द सैक्रिफिशल फायर ऑफ द नॉलेज ऑफ रूद्रा द होल ऑफ द ओल्ड वर्ल्ड इज नाउ गोइंग टू बी सैक्रिफाइज एंड टू इट नो वन कैन प्रिवेंट दिस डेस्टनी दस इज द एम्परेशबल सैक्रिफिशल फायर ऑफ रूद्रा एंड विच द हॉर्स इज सैक्रिफाइज एंड ऑल द पैराफेनिया विल बी सैक्रिफाइज we will not return to this empire world this is not called the destiny created by god but it is the destiny created in the drama song look at your face in the mirror of your heart om shanti your children are human beings this is the world of human beings at this time you are the humans who belong to the brahman religion The father gives teachings to souls. You souls are now aware of your original religion. I, the soul, make this body function. This is the chariot of the soul, just as the father rides in this chariot. You souls are also riding in chariots, means bodies. It is just that souls have forgotten the knowledge of being embodiments of peace and of their residence. being the incorporeal world we receive this bodies here talk to yourself in this way the father says you souls are embodiments of peace if you want to sit in peace then consider yourselves to be souls who are residents of the land of peace you can sit in peace for a little while people ask for peace the soul says my mind wants peace however people don't know that they are souls they have forgotten this there is a story of the queen who searched everywhere for the necklace that was around her neck the father explains peace is your original religion your children understand that you souls are embodiments of peace and that you have come here to play your parts when you became detached from those organs your souls are peaceful a soul can remain in his relation of peace for as long as he wants if you don't want to work through your body just sit down peacefully this is a real peace you don't have to search for it your original relation is peace you are now playing your parts here you have come to know from the father that you have played your parts of 84 births No one knows about the cycle of 84 births only you children understand this at first we were sun dynasty kings and subjects then we went into the moon dynasty and the merchant dynasty and then the shudra dynasty we now have to become part of the sun dynasty again you children now know the beginning the middle and the end of the world you are greatly fortunate The father explains everything to you accurately. This is the path of salvation. Explain to everyone that the best way of salvation for all is one. You now know that Baba is enabling you to receive salvation for twenty-one births. People outside don't know those things at all. Only you, Brahma Kumars and Kumaris, know this. Some ask you, B K S, what you know? There should be. a test to find out whether someone is a brahmin or not if you are the children of brahma you must definitely know about the world cycle do you know the father the creator the rishis and munis neither know the creator nor the creation at all therefore they are atheist you too were atheist you too didn't know the father the creator or the beginning middle and end of creation it is those who are uneducated who go to school 
they would then say that they learned this and that at school you are now studying the godly study the supreme father the supreme soul is teaching you your intellects have to understand this only the shubhaba is the creator it says in the scriptures that rudra created the sacrificial fire of knowledge however there is no difference between rudra and shiv the supreme soul it also says that the flames of destruction emerge from the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra it is just that they have put krishna's name instead of the name of rudra shiv it is the same geeta they say that the flames of destruction emerge from the sacrificial fire of knowledge therefore this sacrificial fire of knowledge is for attaining self sovereignty the old world is to be sacrificed into it they put all the offerings into the sacrificial fire the sacrifice everything so the whole of the old world will be sacrificed into this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra you are now studying raj yoga you will not return to this empire world this world is to be destroyed you know that there will also be natural calamities let all of this knowledge sit in your intellects shubhava says only i have all the knowledge in my intellect the father is the truth the sentient being and the ocean of knowledge he knows the beginning the middle and the end of the world rishis and munis say that they neither know the creator not the creation when people ask you what you receive here tell them great rishis and munis said that they didn't know the creator or the beginning the middle and the end of creation we now know what they didn't know no one but the father the creator can explain the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of creation only the creator can explain that you know that there is a queen bee and that all the other bees follow her they have such a deep relationship with the queen the mother when the unlimited father comes he takes all the children back with him you know that baba has come and that he will take all of us souls back with him to the land of peace then our parts will start again in the golden age we are now claiming this deity status in order to play those parts you human beings come here to claim the status of deities all the virtues have to be imbibed here you have to become like lakshmi and narayan no one can see them except in a divine vision you know that you will now become sandinized deities your intellects are aware of how the kingdom of heaven is established there was the kingdom of deities in the golden age but people have portrayed devils etc even in the kingdom of deities no one knows how pure bharat was people sing the praise you are full of all virtues they even bow their heads in front of their idols many temples have been built to them but they don't know how or when the original eternal deity relation of the golden age was established how did bharat that was so elevated became so degraded no one knows thus they say that destiny has already been created destiny of what they don't even understand thus if they were to understand the destiny of the drama they would understand who the creator and director of the drama is they simply see that it is the destiny of god when one speaks of a drama one should also know the beginning the middle and the end of that drama you can't know a drama by simply reading a book you have to go and see that drama it was printed in the newspaper that a play has been created 
about the divine activities of Krishna. However, no one can understand anything without seeing it. When they see it, they can then understand everything that happens in the drama. Your children now understand the drama. People also say that the cycle of the history and geography of the world continues to turn. But no one knows how it turns. The names of the ages are written. The golden, silver, copper, iron ages and then the confluence age. However, people have understood this to mean that God comes in every age. There is also a confluence of the golden and silver ages. But that confluence doesn't have any importance. Nothing happens there at that time. Only you know how the golden age sun dynasty hands over the kingdom to the moon dynasty. It isn't that the moon dynasty conquered the sun dynasty. No, the sun dynasty king and queen apply the telek of the fortune on the kingdom to the moon dynasty king and queen and set them on the throne. They then received the titles of King Ram and Queen Sita, who gave them those. It would be said that the Sun Dynasty transferred it, saying, You now rule the kingdom. You children have seen the same in divine visions. It isn't that a battle takes place. That kingdom is given to them just as a kingdom would be handed over. The Sun Dynasty washed the feet of the Moon Dynasty and apply a tilak of sovereignty on them. There are no gurus and saints there. It is in the intellects of your children that you are becoming those with divine natures. We will be so happy in the Sun and Moon Dynasty kingdoms. Baba is removing us from sorrow and taking us into happiness. No one else can make us happy. Sages themselves want to go to the land of peace. The father says, I even uplift those sages and take them all to the land of peace. Sannyasis only come in the copper age. Only we deities will be in heaven. There are different sections there. The section of the sun dynasty is separate from that of the moon dynasty. Then there are also sections for those of Islam, the Buddhist, the sannyasis, etc. who continue to come. All of them have their separate sections. When we used to rule, no one else existed there. Such a number-wise rosary is also created in the incorporeal world. The first community is of those who belong to the original eternal deity religion. All the other communities emerge later. This is the greatest community of all. All the other founders of religions that come emerge from this one. We are the first community and then there are hundreds of thousands of smaller limited communities. Here there are four main communities. We come first then those of Islam come then the Buddhists come and then the Christians. We have now fallen down. We have to play our parts of 84 births. Those who are now the last number will then become the first number. Because the deities are now impure, they cannot call themselves deities. Deities are worshipped and thus proves that they belong to that community. The Sikh believes in Guru Nanak. They belong to his genealogical tree. Our genealogical tree in the golden age is the first one. There is no higher genealogical tree than this. We belong to the highest on high community. We experience the maximum happiness. We are the same ones who then became poverty stricken. We are the ones who experience the most sorrow. We are the ones who continue to incur debts. We were so wealthy and have now become so poor. We have lost everything. 
This is the land of sorrow. The father is now making you into the masters of the land of happiness once again. All the rest will go to the land of peace. You experience happiness for half the cycle. All the rest stay in peace. They want to go into liberation. They consider happiness to be like the droppings of a crop. They don't have any experience of the land of happiness. You have that experience. They even sing its praise. But because of being impure, they have forgotten it. The father now reminds you, Oh, residents of Bharat, you belong to the deity religion. You change your name in the corporate. Those who belong to the deity religion have become impure. They continue to sing, Oh, purifier, come. The father has told you, for how many births you were in the pure world and for how many births you were in the impure world. You now have to go to the pure world again. This is the study place, means Patshala of all study places. It is the sacrificial fire of all sacrificial fires. The whole of the old world is to be destroyed and thus the still burn holy car means the female demon memorial. All of those festivals refer to this time. The soul will leave and the body will be destroyed. None of the sannyasis can give you this knowledge. Some things are mentioned in the Gita, but they are like a pinch of salt in a sackful of flour. The knowledge disappears. Shibaba says, I created the sacrificial fire into which you sacrifice your body, mind and wealth. You die alive. Only at this time do you receive this knowledge. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna First point In order to go to the land of happiness, make your nature divine. Remain cheerful by keeping the secrets of the beginning, the middle and the end of the drama in your intellect. Explain that secrets to everyone. Second point, in order to attain self sovereignty sacrifice your body, mind and wealth into this unlimited sacrificial fire while you are alive. Transfer everything to the new world. Blessing, may you become a world emperor who rules over all souls with love. Explanation The children who rule the hearts of all souls with love at the present time also claim the kingdom of the world in the future. You mustn't order anyone at this time. Do not become a world emperor now. You have to be a world server now and give love. You have to see how much love you have now accumulated for the future in your present account. In order to become a world emperor, you mustn't just become a bestower of knowledge, but you also have to give everyone love, that is cooperation as well. Slogan When you feel tired, dance in happiness and your mood will change. Om Shanti 